what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do another tutorial on quests because I thought my my last tutorial, which I made a long time ago, wasn't uh, wasn't definitely good. So I'm going to do this one. It's going to be a basic fetch quest to fetch a unique item that I'm going to create. I mean, I'll possibly do some more ones with sort of slightly different ones, like uh, collecting non-unique items or going to places or you know killing someone or just something like that. So this uh, first of all, I'm going to create my quest. So I'll just right-click new in my quest section and give it a name. Let's call it tutorial quest. I'll give it an ID of uh, tutorial quest. A priority 55 is is fine and start game enabled. Okay. Next of all, I'm going to create an NPC to give us a quest. So new, give him an ID, tutorial NPC, and their name NPC. I'm not going to bother with anything, any of this other stuff because it's not really necessary for this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to create a voice type for him. Tutorial voice, which means this will be important if you want to voice him. But for purposes of this, it's only important just to make certain that he says the right dialogue. Uh, tutorial quest. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be in the NPC section. NPC, tutorial NPC, and voice type. Look for the one I just created. Like that, tutorial voice. So I'm going to create my unique item. So I'm going to go to the misc item section and I'm going to look for bottle. I'm going to create a Nuka Cola bottle. Give it a new ID. So I've just put tutorial in front of Nuka Cola bottle. And I'm going to call it NPC's Nuka Cola bottle. So this will pop up. Uh, we've made a new form. Do we want to change, create a new item? Yes we do. And now I'm just going to head to Wasteland. And wait for us to load. Here we go. So now I'm going to go to Springvale to do this, just because I have a save of a character who stood right by it. Springvale. I mean, again, I imagine that you have a place if you're following this to make your own quest where you want to put your NPC, but I'm just going to put it in Springvale. And if something like that comes up, yes to all. I'm just going to put him in Springvale, because why not? NPC. I'm just going to search again for tutorial NPC. Click and drag him into the world. I'm just going to hit F so he falls to the ground. Now I'm literally not going to, I've not done anything with him. I've not created AI packages. I've not, you know, um, put anything in his inventory or changed what he looks like because none of that's relevant to this tutorial. Uh, well, we want to go to misc item. And this tutorial on the Coca Cola bottle, I'm just going to also check a quest item. To, uh, and let's make it wait nothing in case the player becomes over encumbered by it. We're going to click and drag it into the world, and I'm not going to place it very far. And this will this will come up because it's a quest item, but it's fine to hit yes. That's just in case you mess up something in the base game by you know adding two quest of one quest item and it wrecks the game somehow. But that check comes up but because this is unique and we've created it. It's fine. So it is in the game. Now I'm going to go to the quest because I'm now going to set up all the stages. So I'm going to create stage 10 and right click here new I'm going to put set objective displayed tutorial quest 10 1 there we go so what that means is that when stage 10 is set which we will do later the objective for stage 10 will appear and show up in the game we haven't defined any objectives yet but you know we'll do that later I'm going to go for stage 20, right click new, and now I'm going to set objective complete, completed, I always forget if it's just complete or completed, tutorial quest 10, 1, I got it right first time, and now just to save me accidentally misspelling something, I'm going to copy this over like that, but I'm going to change it to so when this is set, it will complete objective 10 and com display objective 20. And so now I'm going to make my final stage 30. And this is going to be the final stage which completes the quest, so I'm just going to check complete quest down there. And then I'm going to hit reward XP, and then just however much you want. And you don't have to put player dot reward XP, it will just be rewarded to the player. 
So those are the three stages. I'm going to go to the three objectives now. And now this is where the number that we defined before is important. So the objective 10, which had been referenced earlier, display Kate, the display thing will be find the bottle. So that's what will show up in game. 20, I'm going to define here. For some reason in the Fallout 3 gec, it takes a while to kind of load and it won't let you click in straight away. Return the bottle to the NPC. And then, actually, what am I doing? We don't need number 30, because 30 will just end. So just two objectives. So now I'm going to go back to my bottle, which I placed in my world, and just double-click it, and hit Persistent Reference here. And the reason for that is because we're going to select it as a reference in order to put a target on it. So I just right-clicked in here, hit New, selected reference in Render Window, and the tutorial thing came up. And we're going to do exactly the same for here. Right-click, New, Select reference in render window, and now NPCs are already persistent references. So, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to save my plugin now. I'll just call it Shoot Quest Lab. So now let's see, I'll put some dialogue in. I'm undecided whether to make it complicated or simple. Maybe I'll just make it dead simple. Um. Can you find my bottle for me? So now we're going to condition it, right click new, get his ID, his default is what we want, and now we're going to look for tutorial NPC, and right click copy that condition, because we're going to be using that a lot. And now we're going to put in a get stage function um, for the tutorial quest has to be below uh, 10. So that means that this will only happen when it's this quest hasn't started yet. So now I'm going to add another greeting which will just say find my bottle please and now I'm going to actually you know what I'll do I'll copy all conditions and paste them all in because this one is going to happen when stage equals tw equals 10 which will be the stage that we defined earlier to search for the bottle as you see here in the objectives find a bottle is 10 and I'm gonna check this here to be goodbye so that means that when you speak to him it will be an out of conversation dialogue and now I'm going to do exactly the same again find my bottle please paste conditions only this time I'm going to have it equal this one shows up when it equals 20 and so now that means that this one will show up when the player has found the bottle and is returning it and now thanks for your help paste that in and this will show up when it equals 30 and will be out of conversation so now we're going to set up the bottle topic. Um, uh, so tutorial bottle topic. I just right click nude again in that. Right click new and this is going to be what the NPC says. So thank you. Please hurry back. Solid spelling there. Um, I'm going to paste this in. But now I'm going to add a, another condition. I'm going to change this one that I copied in earlier to use get item count tutorial bottle has to equal zero and change that to target. It's because what this is going to be is the player is going to say, okay, I'll look for it. And this is going to mean that the player hasn't already picked up the bottle. So, um, now, this is going to be if the player already picked up a bottle before it started, he said, wow, that was lucky, that was Lucy, that was lucky, for God's sake, lucky, thanks for the help. And this time, target, get item count. Tutorial bottle 
equals one. So I've already found your bottle. There we go. So next up, I'm going to create. Hold on. I'm just going to uh, make certain. But yep, this will only happen when it's less than ten, just so that this doesn't come up too soon. So it'll only happen when it's less than ten. So, yep, that should be fine. Because now I'm going to use the same topic again. I'm going to be lazy, and I'm going to create a new one for when you return of a bottle. Wow, I can't believe you found my bottle. Thanks. Have some caps. I'm going to paste those conditions in again, but this time this one will only be available when it equals 20, so i.e. when it equals a stage that we return. And then I'll just check goodbye to kick the player out of topic. I shall check goodbye for all of these to kick the player out of conversation. Now let's give a player a reward for all the stage where he completes it. So player dot add item caps so zero one. And because for this one where he's already found it, um it's not set in stage thirty. I'll just put this in set stage tutorial quest thirty like that. Oh, I made a mistake. Count, there you go. So so this one I'm using a Fallout 3 gex, it will tell you a mistake. So player to add item cap 001, 100, so the player will be rewarded 100 caps. And it will set stage 30. And I'm just going to copy that and paste in exactly the same thing. And I'm going to go to greeting, add topics, and we'll get a look for the tutorial bottle topic. And now we only need to do that once. We don't need to put it in every single one of them. Um, because now it's added the topic that will permanently add the topic to any greeting that this NPC does, and then if it's stage, if it's not stage ten, you'll say okay, I'll look for it. So let's now set stage tutorial quest ten. Compile script. So then we speak to him. It's not stage ten, so he says. So this one comes up, okay, I'll look for it. Then you leave, and we will do the script for setting stage 20 just now. And then when you come back with the bottle, it will do these. So now this is the final thing. So I'm gonna, I click the pencil up there, and I've clicked script and new. I'm going to give it a name, SCN Tutorial Bottle Script. So again, as long as that's unique, that'll be fine. So we're going to put begin on add player. So when the player adds it to his inventory, this will start. So I'm going to do if get stage tutorial quest is equal to 10 set stage tutorial quest 20 and if end. So what that will do is it will set stage 20 well, obviously, if, if, sta if the stage is 10, it will set stage 20. If it isn't 10, then it won't set the stage to be 20. But that is important because of the way I've structured the quest. So I'm going to go for the thing, tutorial, bottle script, boom. Because the way I've structured the quest is, you can finish it without even starting it. So that means that it won't accidentally set stage 20 if you pick it up too early. The if condition means that stage 20 won't be set. So if you... What have I... I've opened the wrong thing. Because then if stage 20 is set before you've spoken to the NPC, you won't be able to stop, you won't be able to speak to him at all because he won't ask you to find a bottle for him. So I'm hoping that that is all of that complete. That should be the entire quest should run through. I'm going to go now and play the quest and show it working and you'll be able to see how it fits together. Hopefully I have my fingers crossed right now, so uh, here I go. Okay, so off in the distance I can see my NPC. And I'll just run my quest through, uh, probably run it through a couple of times with the two different outcomes. I'll make a quick save here. Speak to him. This better work. Can you find my bottle for me? Okay, I'll look for it. Thank you, please hurry back. Quest added. Tutorial quest. Find my bottle. Find my bottle, please. 
I just want to pick this up. Now, completed. Find my bottle. Return my bottle to the NPC. Find my bottle, please. Whoops, I forgot to put a prompt in. Uh, that was That's why that says tutorial bottle prompt. What that should say is, uh, here is your bottle. Uh, after this, I'll go in and, uh, and, and show that. Wow, I can't believe you found my bottle. Thanks, have some caps. Quest complete. Now, I'm already level 30. Uh, I think that's the max, so it won't, obviously won't show up that uh, I got experience. But let's go and redo it the other way around. So I pick this up. And you'll see the quest hasn't triggered because I put that if, nothing's come up because I put that if block. Can you find my bottle for me? <laughs> I've already found your bottle. Wow, that was lucky. Thanks for the help. 100 bottle caps. And quest completed tutorial quest. Thank you for the help. It worked perfectly. Uh, first time apart from one little mistake. So I'm quite pleased with that. Possibly I could stand to put a fail condition in if you kill him. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate how to do that actually. Uh, why not? Okay, so here we are back in the game. So I'm just going to correct that little mistake I made. It was here. I found your bottle. See, all I did is I didn't put a prompt in. Um, I found your bottle. That was like, oh, I can't believe I did that. I found Ute. I found Ute bottle. I found your bottle. That was all that was missing. That's why that chip bottle top thing came up. Because the prompt here is what the player will say. And I forgot to include that. So let's quickly add a fail condition in. Why not? Um, quest stages. Let's make a 40th stage down here. And all you do, check fail quest. Okay. So now I'm going to create a script. SCN tutorial fail script. Begin on def. Set stage. Tutorial quest 40. Actually, we'll say if get stage tutorial quest is below 30, set stage 40. Just to make certain that something weird doesn't happen, it doesn't. I don't think it will fail after it's completed, but it's just just to make certain that won't happen. And if end. Caps and things don't matter. Yeah, the actual layout that I do doesn't matter, but I just like to have a nice layout. And it's already an object script, so we can save it. Look up the NPC. It's got to be NPC. It's got to be up around here somewhere. Here we go. And we're just going to apply that script that we wrote. Tutorial uh, fail script. And that's that. I'm not going to go back in and show it failing because there's no point. You know, we get ready to do that. But um, yeah, that's that tutorial. Hopefully, that was useful and uh, not confusing. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.